Well, Patriot fans, and welcome into another edition of Patriot Baseball Weekly. We're here for our eighth show. We're outside today on this beautiful day here at Sparrow Stadium. And as always, my guest today is head coach Art Namnet. Art, thanks for being back with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Uh, you guys had a tough challenge to uh, open up PBC play on the road for the first time at number four Lander, but you guys really played hard all weekend. Yeah, I'm proud of the guys. They uh, laid it all on the field, uh, especially in games two and three. We came to play. Uh, we played well enough to win two games, but we only got out of there with one. We'll talk about that big comeback here in a couple of minutes, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the games. First game, uh, we moved to Saturday because of weather. Um, kind of a rough start for you guys. Spencer Jordan got knocked around a little bit and kind of found yourself in a hole and just wasn't able to dig it out, uh, dig out of it. Yeah, down, you know, uh, four, five, six runs early, and that, that's just hard to deal with. And um, you know, our guys continue to play, and uh, I think we cut it to six to two at one point. Um, but it just wasn't a situation that's conducive for winning ball games, and, and we just got to do a better job of putting ourselves in a better position to win games. We guys came back for the doubleheader on Sunday, still uh, down there at Lander. Um, game one started a little rough for you guys. Daniel Barfield had to leave after just one inning with an injury, and all of a sudden, once again, you guys trailed seven to two. Yeah. Well, again, our guys battled back. Um, uh, Danny had a little had a little arm issue, had some tightness there, and we had to get him out. And uh, Chance Ducharme came in and kind of held it tight there for us and gave us a chance to score some runs late to come back. And our bullpen held up, and we were able to, to get to victory. Well, then seventh inning came around. The magic started happening. Hits started falling in. Runs came across two three-run innings before putting up a couple of, of assurance runs in the ninth inning. And all of a sudden, you guys stole the game. Yeah, our guys played with a lot of passion. Uh, I'm proud of them again. I think I've said that already. But they battled all weekend. As long as we keep doing that, we're going to be in good shape and, and uh, we're going to make a run at this thing. Uh, we have to give a shout out to your bullpen, especially the back end of it. You mentioned Chance came in early, but guys like Gordon Owens, Cody Dix, John Rossi, Jeremy Hatfield, all the four of those guys with the last four innings didn't give up any runs. Uh, a couple hits spread out in there, a couple walks. But without them, you guys wouldn't have been able to make the comeback that you did. Yeah, we, uh, we took a chance there down in the game and used our bullpen. It worked out for us. We typically don't do that. But, you know, our guys were fighting hard, especially on the offensive side. We were scoring runs. We were having guys on base. And fortunately, it worked out for us. Let's move to the last game of the series, a rubber game. You guys were uh, looking to uh, pick up the doubleheader sweep. And it looked like towards the end there was going to happen. You guys were up 5-2. to two, Good outing from Spencer, uh, from starter Jordy Santac. And all of a sudden, a couple bad pitches from Jeremy Hatfield gives up the big grand slam. And you guys find yourselves down. Well, first of all, you got to give Lander some credit. They, uh, uh, they're really good at coming back on you, and if you give them extra opportunities, they'll burn you, and, and they got us. Um, we'll try to learn from it as a team and as a coaching staff and move forward. Uh, you, we got a lot of faith in Jeremy. He's pitched well for us early in the year, and we're going to depend on him down the stretch, so he'll bounce back. And uh, just proud of Jordan, too. Santac pitched it really well, and he pitched well enough to win. We just didn't win it. Overall, on the weekend, a lot of guys, I know especially in the comeback, pretty much everybody came into the action at the plate, but hit on a couple of those guys that really stood out for you. I know uh, Nick McGee hit over 500 for the weekend. Uh, Marquise Curry also near the 500 mark. Talk about some of those guys' performances. Well, I know that in game two that all of our starters had a hit, and that's pretty impressive when everybody in your lineup gets a hit. We had 18 hits. In game three, I think we only had five or six hits, but we did hit some balls hard right at them. So uh, offensively, I think we had 30 hits for the weekend. That's enough hits to win a series. Uh, again, we just didn't, we didn't close the deal in game three. Well, beauty of baseball, as I mentioned this before, you guys are back at it uh, tomorrow. So it's to be great weather again, just like today. You travel to Wilson, North Carolina to face off Barton College non-conference. Uh, talk about that uh, game and who you're, what are you expecting to see from those guys? Well, we're expecting uh, to give some of our young pitchers an opportunity to get a lot more action tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we're expecting a, a good fight out of Barton. They always play well at home, and tomorrow will be no exception. We got our hands full. We got to play good baseball. We got to come out and play with a lot of passion like we did in games two and three up, up in Greenwood. And as long as our guys do that, we'll be okay. Unfortunately, the Peach Bowl play back this weekend um, doesn't get any easier. Georgia College coming in there. And so we will be back on Thursday to talk about that. Uh, talk about that series. Art, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. As I mentioned, come back with us on Thursday. We'll be back to preview the Georgia College series and get a recap from the Barton game tomorrow night. 
Uh, for full information on the Patriot baseball team, visit fmupatriots.com. Don't forget to check out our social media pages at FMU Sports. Once again, for the Patriot Sports Network, I'm Jonathan Davidson. Have a great day, everybody.